I will not be pushed, filed, stamped, indexed, briefed, debriefed, or numbered. My life is my own. <clears throat> Where am I? You are in the village. Who do you work for? That would be telling. What do you want? We want information. Well, you won't get it. By hook or by crook, we will. Who are you? I am the new number two. Who is number one? You are number six. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, welcome. And uh, we've made it, the day trip. We're here in Port Miriam, North Wales. And all that you see around us here is the actual location for the filming of The Prisoner, made around 1967. We're standing at the moment outside of the, the property that was used as number six ha house and uh, we've travelled here, it's a sunny day, we've got the weather. Now this has all come about because somebody uh, on one of the freedom marches on the coach wore a red t-shirt with the head and shoulders of Patrick McGowan in The Prisoner and I said to Phil at the time because I was totally unfamiliar with this TV series. I said, uh, what's this about? And he explained uh, this person who was high in intelligence, who was kidnapped, taken to this place called the village. Anyway, so it shows the power uh, of wearing a t-shirt and it having an, an impact on someone. Because I got the, the, the uh, Blu-ray set and uh, from there had great interest to come and this day trip followed on. We've got Lee with us, right. <laughs> our beast, <laughs> and uh, we're just going to just run over a few thoughts from the uh, episodes. Uh, I've gone through all 17, 17 episodes were made in total, and these are a, a few points to think of. The first is that the people in the village uh, are all, they have no names, they're just called by numbers. Patrick McGurin being number six. Any thoughts on that? It's dehumanisation, it's new things, it takes away the, uh, the personal arguments. It's make sure it's another number, no individuality. It's a problem in the Yeah. That's why I use it, it depends. Everybody's got their own interpretation. You never know. That was the beauty of the series, I think. It was that ambiguous. Yeah. yeah. That's the way I take it. There is a total observation of everyone. Everyone is observed indoors and outdoors. There is no privacy in the village. Even though they, they may think they have a measure of privacy. Even within the house at number six, there was... Uh, he was totally being observed. Any thoughts on that? Well, that's come to fruition because obviously you've, got, you've literally got people on different. Uh, 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 oh, yes. You've got big brother into every element of your life now uh, CCTV, you've got your smartphones, yeah. there's no privacy, your sneer time, your, your watch. And if, I mean, it was happening before, the prison was filmed. And yet, um, again, it's another one of the things that. 50 odd years ago, it was banged on the mirror. You know, this um, intrusion into your private life. And um, we'll watch everything you do, we'll log everything you do. And yeah. um, we'll you know, build up the funnels on there. It's, it, 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 it's happening there. And what's currently happening is one massive leap forward for them, where they actually want to, to, to help you. That's it. And within the TV series, there was fake situations that they created. There was fake news. So I just wondering if we can stop and people yeah. going into the shops. I bet you ever sit down yeah. that way. Or we can move around. Let's yeah. move around the side. Oh, in front of me. The actual door of 
number six. So we just don't want to stop people getting into yeah, the shop. Yeah, we'll spend outside the actual <laughs> entrance here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, uh, right. Oh, is that better? We're both in there. Okay, so... Uh, come a bit nearer if you Okay, so they have democratic so-called elections in the village uh, are held regularly among the brainwash to give it this democratic feel. But whoever's in, they get their person in, which is... Very very similar yeah, to what we have exactly, in our own. It's, it's exactly the same, isn't it? There's no, there's no opposition. It's it's, uh, it's a pantomime. It's a farce. Two wind and the same bird, as I've said lots of times. It's, it's fairly obvious. My dad's been saying. Every, everybody's been saying it for years. But it's it's another one of these things now that is absolutely proven. And you'd be crazy not to accept it before you could just brush it off and give out. Oh, a soft. But you know they do all pee in the same pots. There's, um, it's an illusion that you've, you've got choice. I mean, look what's happening with the Labour Party, the Keir Starmer, that's not part of the opposition. The, the independents might make a few encouraging noises, but they're going to get that way. Um, it's pretty much a one-party state. Yeah. The... Uh, Patrick McGowan, he's called number six. Now, do you, do you have any uh, thoughts on why? They've chosen well, number six to represent. Yeah. You're going into numerology and all, yeah. all the rest I mean, of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly don't know. There's no sense. I no. mean, do you remember around that time, late 60s, they even had a packet of cigarettes called number six? Do you remember um, that? Embassy number six. Embassy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's any connection on that. I don't know whether there's any. No, I don't know. I remember there was. Particularly. Maybe we'll find out today. Maybe yeah. we'll give so why, why it was uh, why number six. But I mean, numerology plays very heavily into a, a, a lot of things, so perhaps it was picked yeah. for a specific purpose, but what that is, I don't know. Because in our day, we've had the rule of six uh, many times brought out. Uh, there was an episode where the prisoner wakes one morning and everyone in the village has disappeared, at least for a limited period of time, which is a type of the biblical rapture, possibly. I, d I don't know what that was about. There was an episode... Now, there was an episode me and Jane watched the night before we came here. And it was most peculiar. I shared this with Lee this morning when he, when he arrived. How there was, a, there was two people speaking on the episode called Dance of the Dead. And one of the people had one of these perspex type... Okay, what do you call them? Mud flat, mud flat type yeah. thing. Exactly the same. I says to Jane, "Look at that! Look at it! It's exactly what they're walking around in now." I, and I'd never, you never would have known it at you the would, time. You, the series. Up on that, would you, you have to go through that today. Yeah, no, until two years ago, you would have yeah. picked up on that. A year ago. Then there was another episode uh, called Checkmate, where they spoke of the cult of individuality. Uh, the cult of individuality and people being charged with being a mutual which yeah. you touched on in one yeah. of the talks we did from the past yeah. and also the aversion ceremony you remember that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, yeah another episode called The Girl Who Was Deaf there was this statement made. number two says be vigilant which is one of the statements they've been using today in the in the rule of three, yeah. in the power of three, mm -hmm. you know, uh, hands, face, face, and then other things they say, like be vigilant, be, can't remember it, off hand. But if they use that same expression. The choice of language seems to be universal, yeah. I think that seems to be both jogging to us. And yeah. all the different countries are using the same phrases. Yeah, it's not, it's not expected. Uh, I was thinking on the, the expression. Where Patrick will be doing, and throughout the village, they be seeing you, and uh, be seeing you has all sorts of connotations. It can be seen as uh, as seeing a friend, uh, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, with expectations of pleasant times ahead. It can be seeing you on a long journey, or somebody going away. Also, it could be a threat. Be seeing you, but mainly the thing 
about it here in the context of the prisoner is being seeing you, meaning there's constant surveillance. That even when you're asleep, when you're dreaming, and also they're trying to analyze. It's been a long time since I've actually seen the prisoner. You know, it's uh, yeah. bringing back all the memories. I mean, I did get obsessed with it in the, the early nineties. That's been a long time ago. But correct me if I'm wrong. Did he do, did he do this? Be seeing you. It's, again, it's, it's satanic symbol, isn't it? I can't remember. Yeah, six, 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 six. Um, you know, I'm, I'm he, in the court. I'm watching you. Eye of Horus. Yeah. Wow. That's what it is. Yeah. I mean, I, I think he did that. <laughs> but this was long, long before we went round the rabbit hole. This is when I was just enjoying it as a, um, a science fiction series. Yeah. Um, but I do. I think. I mean. I, I think he did. He did the dance. He's one of the satanic symbols, isn't it? The eye of Horus, like you say, it's watching you. Got our eye on you. We're in the club. That's watching you. So now you see the house of number six is like a gift shop. Uh, this had just a door that would open automatically, and when they filmed, uh, the inside was in the studios, and uh, particularly the controllers were very high tech in how they all looked, isn't it? With the spying and the manipulation of things. So, the shall big, we... Uh, big seesaw, wasn't it? And scanning around, watching everything. We'll leave it there, then. It's a beautiful place. It is. It really, really is. It's, um, I think they started building it in the 1920s and kept adding to it. Uh, yeah. Oh, and behind, uh, have we got that building as well? Yeah, that looks very good. In the belt, isn't it? Are you seeing him? God bless. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Phil. Thanks. Oh, my arms. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. Oh, first. 